Hey guys, this is a EV campaign video, and I'm just uh, showing this to uh, give you a glimpse of what I'm doing. I'm just I finished a, a Romani campaign, which is basically across the whole Mediterranean. That took quite a while, and uh, I just thought I'd show you a bit of uh, this Bactrian campaign, which is I found is actually uh, pretty interesting <coughs> because uh, you don't usually think about Greeks all the way out here in like Iraq. Or I mean, uh, Iran, around this area, or you know, above India, you know, you wonder what kind of stuff happened to them. Anyways, uh, I guess I'm a satrap of Bactria, and I've pissed off the Seleucids by by uh, declaring some sort of independence. And uh, recently, they've been trying to take over Bactria, but uh, I've been holding them off and and then getting some sort of ceasefire with them. But uh, it doesn't look like it's working out, so I'm building some defensive troops. So I thought I'd just show this one battle to see uh, what you guys thought about it. Because I've, I've basically starved out this city, I think they're going to sally. This is my main what? army with my faction there, I mean my faction leader. So let's uh, see what happens. Yeah, so I chose Bactria because it's very very small campaign objectives as compared to like Macedon which has to recreate Alexander's conquest which is just, just but too much alright this is the rebel army or no not rebels uh, let's say independent army uh huh okay so we've got ourselves two Indian elephants Iranian cavalry Indo-Iranians Swordsmen, Indian spearmen, India longbowmen. Yeah. Alright, into the battle. Alright. So, let's. You can see that I'm very archer heavy because I'm kind of following what the Persians used to do, which is lots of archers. It works pretty well because a lot of people here aren't very uh, heavily armored. Because so, to the north of Bactria is horse archers, and to the let's see near towards India, the east is not very heavily armored people. This the Seleucids I have to worry about, but uh, I don't have to deal with them yet. At least not now. This is my bodyguard. Called, uh, there's some sort of cataphract. Speed it up. I've got some health to stay. <clears throat> as my kind of elite uh, flanking troops. Uh, I'm not using them as skirmishers because I don't really need them right now. I've got plenty of archers. They've got pretty good attack and defense for what they are. Elite skirmisher. I think they're, you know, around the range of like legionaries actually. And my main core army is Pandotap Pandotapui Phalangitai, which is the native uh, phalanx native phalangites. Usually it'd be the Pesitairoi that have uh, that are made up of Greeks. And then but then of course the Diadochi in the east would have to rely on native troops to fill up their ranks because they can't always get Hellen Hellenic people. Let's get a little closer. I don't want to get too close oh, okay. Cavalry. Skirmish cavalry. I'm gonna I'm just wondering where his, his elephants are going to come out. I think they come out on the right. So I'm going to bring my Peltistai over here so they can shoot the elephants and also provide a little flanking cover. Thonvare Payarda, I think. Uh, my bodyguard over here. I have to deal with the cavalry threat. Okay. I want them to hit the archers. Don't really need to go after the infantry because I think my. Uh. No! Okay, okay. 
No biggie. Peltistai can hold their own against cavalry. Alternate attack, bring out their swords, which you always need to do. Let's take out those longbows. The great thing about uh, uh, sallying is that they come up piecemeal for you to kill them. Not exactly the smartest. Okay. Gotta get rid of these cavalry before those elephants come and join Alrighty. I have. I don't think I really have a chance of invading that city with it have elephants. So I always wait for the sally. If I had Roman infantry, maybe I would. But Bakshi is a bit low on fun, so I can't exactly get too many elite troops. Okay, what do we got here? Spears, spears, bows, and they're starting to shoot their own. Okay, let's. Just gotta wait for these guys. Okay, not cool. Let's reposition my spears. These elephants don't seem to want to come in until I'm fully engaged. guys out. Yeah, as an Eastern faction, I, you really have to rely on archers for the most part. At least until you can get some good heavy infantry. Alright, good. I would engage these infantry up there because they're so low in number, but I don't really want to do that while these elephants are in my flight. Run away! Run away! Go, 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 go! Okay, cool. Don't need these guys to go Pelsists are really, really useful against elephants. As you may know. <laughs> nice. Those are some pretty big swords. That's not too smart, impaling themselves with my spears. And running right into their own elephants. <laughs> oh, this is this, this is great. <laughs> so point blank shooting should work. Oh man. <laughs> No, you know, I don't know what I was so worried about. This is a piece of cake. Yeah, this battle is basically over, I think. Just gotta get rid of these infantry.
I wasn't too confident because my troops are pretty, you know, uh, basic. But I guess I was I had nothing to do with it. It didn't really take too much to deal with elephants. Listen to those elephants fall. I'm trying to go into the front of the phalanx. It's <laughs> about time they rounded. Still here fighting a good fight. Okay. Oh, they're smart with regard to my archers. How about this? Yeah. Take that. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna skip ahead to the end of this battle video doesn't get too long. Finally the battle ended after like a whole lot of crap. Uh, you can see the battle results here and we're going back to the campaign map. Alright. Mm. Occupy. Uh, so anyways this was just a little test uh, video to see if anyone was interested and in maybe I could do a campaign videos or I don't know if I have enough time to do an actual full out campaign but <clears throat> if I do little bits of here and there of my campaign uh, I wonder if any of you guys are interested in that uh, if you are go ahead post a comment on the video and uh, I'll think about putting out some uh, some uh, campaign videos on top of my uh, multiplayer stuff because EB is a pretty fun game and uh, this is a pretty short campaign so I think I could uh, handle it um, Alright, so this is the end. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I thought I'd just show this little tidbit here. Every city in EB has some monument or something that is like special or like special to uh, the city. It's kind of like a wonder in the vanilla. So this uh, city has the 12 pillars or the Indian altars of Alexandros. It's the point, I think around this area is where the Battle of Hedaspes River was, and Alexander's men refused to go any further east, as it says in this description, and so Alexander erected 12 pillars as a monument to his conquests. Just, I thought it was a pretty cool touch. It says here they were standing five centuries later, confirmed by Philostratos, uh, that they were still in, in India in the second century AD, so I thought that was pretty cool. Also, my general gets a uh, little in the Phonos Indian killer and Nikesis Opiana it means he's spread he's basically conquered as far as the limit his, of his empire to India so that's a pretty cool little tidbit I thought